lecture Garima Sachi. Welcome you all in my YouTube channel. Friends, today I am going to explain you about the topic anal fistula in English on the demand of few of my non-Hindi patients. So let's talk about this anal fistula. It is just an abnormal chronic communication between the epithelialized surface of anal canal and the perianal skin. It is just like a tunnel between internal opening of the anal canal and external opening in the skin of the anus. Friends, before that, if you have not subscribed my channel till yet, kindly subscribe my channel, tap the bell icon to get the latest updates of the videos and kindly see the video till the last because in the last, I am going to explain you some of the homeopathic medicines which can be helpful in curing this anal fistula. At first, I would like to tell you why this occurs, why this fistula gets created. So, a person who is having history of anal abscess can lead to this fistula. When that abscess doesn't heal properly, it goes on forward increasing inside D and causes this fistula. It especially occurs between the age of 30s and 40s. It can extend from internal or external sphincter of the anal canal to the skin outside that is anus. Now friends, let's talk about the sign and symptoms of these anal fistula. So there is a skin maceration, serous fluid pus or blood may come out through the fistula or sometimes feces also may come out through the fistula. There may be pruritus ni that is itching at the region of anus and severity may lead to pain, swelling, tenderness, fever and some mucoporulent discharge which may be having unpleasant odor. Thick discharge may cause the undergarments very wet. Now let's discuss about the types of these anal fistula. So the first one is extra sphincteric. That is which begins at the rectum or sigmoid colon and opens into the skin of the anal area. So it is above the sphincter. Next variety is trans sphincteric. It begins between the internal and the external sphincter and it crosses the extra sphincter muscle and it gets open into the skin. It can have multiple openings too. Next variety is supra sphincteric, which begins above internal sphincter and below external sphincter and opens into the skin. Next is inter sphincteric, so it opens between internal and external sphincters, but it crosses the internal sphincter and opens into the anus. And the last variety is submucosal fistula. So it never crosses any of the sphincter and is very much superficial and at the region of the submucosa. So this is all about the types of anal fistula. Now let's talk about the diagnosis of these anal fistula. So anoscopy or clinical examination is more than sufficient. Now let's talk about the treatment of these anal fistula. So Allopathically, it's just surgical. Now let's talk about the homeopathic cause, one of the homeopathic cure case and some of the homeopathic medicines which can be helpful in curing these anal fistula. So the homeopathic cause is indigestible anger and patient find an unsuitable way to get rid out of the unpleasant or rubbish situation. Along with that, there is destruction in the mind. Now friends, I would like to tell you one of the cured case of mine of these anal fistula via homeopathy. So a patient age 49 years suffering from these anal fistula having too frequent repetition of constipation that is recurrent constipation as well as diarrhea. So there was a frequent history of those things. Along with that, there was burning in the anal region, pus discharge from the fistula, very unpleasant odor. Patient was very much positive and he is very positive that he can get rid of this situation. 
a very strong constitution and gets angry when thinking of his ailments. He has delusion that he has every disease. He is suffering from every disease of the world. Desires company. There was great depression too and very much restless. Sadness as if he is having a great misfortune and something bad will happen. He felt that he has been left alone by everyone. The rubric taken was delusion that he has every disease. And the medicine given was Aurum Muriaticum 200, which helped him curing in just a period of two months. Now friends, I would like to tell you some of the homeopathic medicines which can be helpful in curing these anal fistula. So the first medicine is Calcarea Sulf. So a person who is having fistula with a history of too much anal abscess or maybe carbuncle, then this calcarea cell will be helpful in curing him. There must be moisture around the anal region and there may be pus discharge from the fistula. The mental symptoms of this calcarea cell is patient who always laments that he has not received the actual credence what is actually due to him. He has not received the actual position what he works and along with that he is very timid or irritable so if these symptoms correspond, calcarea cell will be helpful in curing these anal fistulas. The next medicine is Berberis vulgaris. Many of you think that this medicine is for renal stones only, but it's not like that. If the constitutional symptoms correspond, this Berberis vulgaris will be helpful in curing these anal fistula. So the symptoms are there is violent burning in the anus, tearing pain in the anus. And fistula with too severe itching. Patient remains too much indifferent to any kind of work, especially mental work. Difficulty in thinking. And object seems twice as large as normal. Disinclination to speak. So if these symptoms correspond, Berberis vulgaris will be helpful in curing these anal fistula. That's all about this topic. We'll meet soon with a new topic, new subject. It's my humble request to you all. Kindly don't take any medicine without consulting doctor. And the clinic address of mine and the contact number is given in the description link. Kindly don't forget to subscribe my channel and tap the bell icon to get the latest updates of the videos. Stay connected to stay healthy. Thanks for watching.